Hello, church family. We are excited to have you join us on March 23rd or for our daily devotional. We have a lot of great updates for you. We're just checking in. We hope that you are doing well, that you're staying dry and uh, keeping that heat on. It is a very wet and dreary day out there, but that's not stopping us from moving forward. We got a lot of opportunities coming up. We spent the morning sorting food and creating care packages uh, for families in need of food. We have both packages for individuals and families. They include a ton of different things with different foods, but also a, a fun little toy and a short devotional for anybody that's in need. So if you know somebody that's in need, please let us know and we would be glad to help them out. We have a couple people stopping by this week and we know that as this uh, time stretches out further and further, we'll have more and more families that will be able to bless. This morning, we put six more bags of groceries out into our little library box to help those in our community with food. And uh, we're looking at, we'll keep that stocked as much as we can. Um, aside from donating food, we also have a couple other options available. We are looking to have some additional music available, whether through our daily devotional, through Sunday morning worship, in addition to uh, our wonderful pianist, Kim. So if you know somebody that can lead worship, um, send them our way if they're available. And uh, we'd love to just have them bless our church in a way that uh, while we're all together, but yet not in the same room. Also, we're looking for people that can help run meals or errands. If you are available for that, uh, please let us know. And uh, we also are doing a lot of activities with um, family ministry coming up. So as we're getting closer and closer to Easter, we're going to need some help sorting some of the activities and making sure that we get them to everybody in time. So if you can help us with that, that would be great as well. Aside from that, we have a ton of opportunities with social media that we really need your help on. Uh, YouTube, once we hit 100 subscribers, we get to customize our uh, link so we could put www.youtube.com, Willow Grove Baptist Church is the greatest church on earth. Or we could put .com slash these 100 subscribers are awesome, but we can only do that through you. So if you have a YouTube account, jump on over to our page and subscribe there. We would love to have the support. Not only that, but we also have a fan page that many of you guys have been watching videos on. We would love to get your recommendations on that. And uh, that way when people are at Google search our, Google search our church, they uh, not only get the website, but they can see what amazing members we have who love the church and why. Uh, recommendation goes further than anything else, I think, when it comes to uh, where you wanna spend your Sunday mornings. Speaking of Sunday mornings, we had a great service yesterday, and uh, we hope that you had a chance to watch that. We do have links on our website, www.willowgrovebaptist.org slash messages. And um, if you are interested, we would love for you to, while you're watching the video, either on YouTube or Facebook, comment, let us know what you guys think. And um, if you want to host a watch party, it's a great way to tell your neighbors, your friends, your Facebook acquaintances, uh, what you're doing and opportunities to connect with them. Uh, aside from that, if you go to our website, go under resources, we have a business directory available that we're looking to recommend business owners in our church, members, family members, people that we can say, these guys do a great job. You'll love going to them. Just fill it out. It takes about a minute and uh, you'll be blessing a lot of people as they come to our website to find resources that help them get through life. Um, looking over our list, the only thing else we have is our events are back up and running, but they're not quite what you're used to. So this Tuesday is the last chance to sign up for our challenge cards before they go out in the mail. Uh, if you have kids under 18 years old, definitely want to check out these challenge cards. They, sh they should be for a lot of fun and a great opportunity to bring your family together. Uh, that is Tuesday, Wednesday night. We have our Bible study at 7 o'clock through Zoom, and uh, we will let you know the topic as soon as I figure out what it's going to be. But this Saturday, 8.30 a.m., men are getting together as we continue going through what it looks like for men to lead in a crisis. And ladies, you are meeting at 11 o'clock for Zoom. Both of these are through Zoom, and uh, it's an opportunity for us to get together. Uh, Lauren does have the more information online, and we'll be sure to get those links out to you. Last but not least, this Sunday night, we are going to do a youth night, and it's going to be at dad jokes competition. So we want to make sure that your teens are available and signed up and ready for that. Should be a lot of fun. We're aiming for six o'clock since we weren't able to meet it last week and we want to make sure that uh, your teens can get there. 
So with that aside, we have a Bible verse of the day that we want to share with you. And it is Psalms 33, 22. Nope, we're not there yet, but there we go. You are there. Uh, it is Psalms 33, 20, 21. Uh, I'm not quite sure what screen you're looking at, but hopefully you're seeing this screen. Uh, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. So this is our Bible verse of the day. This is definitely a time where we are waiting on the Lord, and we are expecting great things from him. God is just as good as today as he has every other time and we know that God is going to do amazing things and it's exciting and nervous and all these wonderful things to be waiting on him during this time. So that's an update from everything going on today. We want to make sure that you guys are in the loop, that you're updated as things constant, uh, consistently change. We know a lot of you have got the text message saying that schools are gonna be out until mid-April. So we are continuing to move forward. Uh, school programs have some great food pickups for those that are that get free or reduced lunch. So be sure that if you know somebody that has that, that they're signed up to get those. Great opportunity to connect. Also, we found out Willow Grove, uh, all the YMCAs, including Willow Grove, are doing daycare for those that are working. Great way to reach out and be a blessing to the community. All right, with that said, we are going to jump into our study. And so we have been continuing on throughout the weekend. Today we are talking about what it means to accept. And Bill Wat Watterson um, said, it's not denial. I'm just selective about the reality I accept. I think a lot of that can be said in today's age. Sometimes even when we remember all that God has done for us, it doesn't change our circumstances. Sometimes we just have to accept that it's beyond our understanding right now and just keep going. But we must also realize that acceptance is not denial. When you accept what God is doing, you don't simply stuff your feelings down and let your heart die, even as you're practicing your smile in the mirror and memorizing Bible verses. By the way, if you guys aren't into memorizing Bible verses, I would really encourage you to do that. That is definitely a way that will strengthen your faith and strengthen your mind and keep your focus on what is good. When you accept that God's up to something that you can't see or understand right now, you don't just roll over and play dead and resign yourself to despair. No, you keep praying for a miracle from him unless he tells you otherwise, but you don't pretend that everything is okay when clearly it's not. Habakkuk certainly couldn't pretend and keep his head in the sand after he questioned God and the Lord responded by telling him that he was going to use the wicked Babylonians to destroy Israel. Habakkuk said, I heard and my heart pounded. My lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones and my legs trembled. His response is visceral, visceral. And you know that sinking sensation you get in your gut when something bad happens that's beyond your control? That's what Habakkuk was facing. When Habakkuk accepted reality while waiting on God, it wasn't denial, it was faith. Not faith that God would do what Habakkuk wanted God to do, but faith in God's character. Habakkuk goes on to say the sovereign hand of God is doing something here. God has spoken, so I'll accept whatever he is doing, as difficult as that may be for me. Sometime, something is going to happen that you don't like. I think now is that time. It may be happening right now. You remember what God has done. You accept what God is doing. You trust what God is going to do. You write down his promises. You write down his word. You etch it on your heart. You remember that he is faithful, even in dark times and even when the sun is so good. And just know that when we pray, pray to God, we don't always understand what's going on, but we accept that somehow God is still in control. Guys, do you, do you believe that? Not just mental head knowledge, but do you believe that God is in control? I believe this chair that I'm sitting in is going to hold me. I have, okay, I think maybe that there's a possibility that this video might actually work and I won't have to try it three more times, but uh, I have faith that we will get this message out to you before I leave today. And uh, I believe that God is using this 
in a, this time in our lives to strengthen our faith, to challenge us to go beyond the status quo, to say, will we love when it's difficult? Will we stay rooted in his word when we don't have all those distractions? Is God still the same God today as he was a month ago? The world needs us to be the light. And church, it's on us. So we want to challenge you this week. Will you accept what's going on? Will you seek after God? Will you press in to his word? And if you will, then send a letter of encouragement to somebody. Pick five people on your Facebook that you want to encourage today. Think of a way that you can be a blessing to somebody else. We have a lot of great opportunities that we're going to be releasing later this week that are going to help you shine brighter. And so we hope that you'll partner with us. We hope that you'll continue to support us and continue just to be interactive. Let us know how things are going. Send us a message, comment, share, like, do all these things. Because even though we can't see each other for an hour on Sunday, we still have 167 hours that we can engage life together. And maybe this is just sharing a photo of what's going on. Maybe this is asking a question. Maybe this is posting something that God has placed in our heart. We are the church, even when we're not in the same room together. And God really wants to see us lift him up and glorify him in this time of great change. So continue praying, continue to wash your hands, even if they're already cracking. And uh, stay safe, stay smart, limit going outside. There's a lot of... Uh, crazy stuff. Not to mention today, it's wet, it's rainy, my socks are soaked. It's best just to stay indoors. Plenty of fun activities. If you're bored and you don't know what to do, if your kids are bored, jump over to our website under resources. We have a whole page of virtual uh, tours they can do, virtual field trips, a lot of great resources there for both parents and kids and anybody who's got short attention span like myself that likes to click on links. Ton of things there. We have a list of all of our food pantries under um, the same page resources for those in the area and our website slash education for those that are looking to explore when they can't go outside. So church, continue to be the church, continue to follow and seek God. And until uh, next time, we will see you then and we'll be praying for you. Uh, take care, stay safe, and be a blessing, be a light. Till next time.